talk about the gender inequality index. So for gender inequality index, you have gender inequality index but you have three dimensions dimensions huh? health empowerment and labor market इन तीन चीजों पे हम जेंडर का इनइक्वालिटी देखेंगे हेल्थ एम्पावरमेंट एंड लेबर मार्केट व्हाई हेल्थ इज टेकन बिकॉज वुमेन हेल्थ कैन सफर ड्यू टू रिप्रोडक्टिव हेल्थ राइट सो वी नीड टू कंसीडर दैट एम्पावरमेंट देखना है और एक लेबर मार्केट देखना है ठीक है एंड इंडिकेटर्स सो फॉर हेल्थ वी टेक मेटर्न मेटर्नल mortality ratio right and we take adolescent birth rate how many women died while giving birth ye cheez dekhna zaruri hai right and also we want to understand what's my adolescent birth rate when these two are combined they give you female reproductive health index here i am taking dimension index similarly for empowerment for empowerment ha huh? ab empowerment or labor market mein aapko treatment these are related to each other that's a criss cross relation so first we talk about what all will go ahead and will give me empowerment so you have female and male population with secondary education female and male population with secondary education yahan se aayega aapke paas female empowerment index right and male empowerment index right how much educated they are will give you female empowerment index i don't want to create a line here these both are related to each other and male empowerment index the other thing is female and male share of parliamentary seats how much is their presence in the politics in the parliament again this will tell female empowerment index and male empowerment index okay the third thing that you have is the female and male labor force participation rate labor force participation rate again you know this will go ahead and this will tell us about the female and male labor market index okay but i want to take female together okay so what i am doing is bahut dhyan se dekhna beta kyunki yahan se yahan pe hamare paas sirf female reproductive health index aa raha hai so i want to so when i find their uh, when i find their labor force participation rate i am taking this here and i am saying this will be female labor market index i am just writing it on the left hand side and this will give me male labor market index now female reproductive health female empowerment rate and female labor market index together will give me female gender index and male empowerment index and male labor market index will give me male gender index will give me male gender index okay 
and female gender index and male gender index will give me gender inequality index grm clear so gender inequality index has three dimensions health empowerment and labor market health is only helpful in finding female reproductive health index empowerment is both for males and females labor market is both for males and females when we combine female reproductive health index with female empowerment index with female labor market index that together tells me female gender index when we combine male empowerment index with male labor market index that gives me male gender index these together give me gender inequality index clear okay beta now let us just quickly go through the website also human development reports ko ek bari dekh lete hain so i'm going to take you through the website this is gender inequality index it is a composite matrix of gender inequality using three dimensions reproductive health empowerment and labor market low value of gii indicates low inequality jitna kam hoga utna kam inequality jitna zyada hoga utna zyada inequality okay now if you just go here again you can find it for different regions you can also go by a country here so let's just go to india india ha huh? and you can also compare india with a country so let's compare india with say us okay so you see that india us and world have been highlighted okay can you see india us and world are highlighted baki teen baki sab thoda down shaded hai and the other three are better shaded okay so now i'm just going to the value of india where did india go this it is a little difficult to pop this up so you see this india dekh rahe ho india mein it is telling maternal mortality ratio adolescent birth rate theek hai number of seats in parliament dekho male mein 85% female mein 14% ha population with least some secondary education uh, males mein 58% and female mein 41% labor force participation rate male 76% and female 28% and overall gni is 0.437 right it's 0.437 and if you compare this with the world or let's say with us i hope you guys find a better way to scroll through this thing i'm finding a bit difficult to make these scrolls come true i mean it's because there are so many countries now so you see us ka 1997 maybe it was just 0.28 india ka abhi bhi 0.4 hai so india has to still lower down this value ha huh? and if you just keep going to us If you just keep going to US, you will see, realize that US का value has become very very less, right? US value will be very very less. So it's just point one eight, and we said that the lower the GII, the lesser the inequality. तो hmm? so US में inequality देखो आप you can see from here also ना if you see population with secondary education female ninety five male ninety five female is actually more. जेंडर गैप में फीमेल इज मोर ठीक है एंड इफ यू सी लेबर फोर्स पार्टिसिपेशन फीमेल फिफ्टी सिक्स मेल सिक्सटी सेवन द गैप इज नॉट अ लॉट 
on the other hand india mein the gap is a lot right so you can also compare this country and uh, countries and it also clearly says the lower the gii value the better the performance regarding gender inequality and then you can also look at just south asia or just sub saharan africa and you will be able to see the different countries huh? so i can just remove us and india and just focus on these countries of these regions other regions will be removed so then you will realize that within south asia also india is not performing really the best you see sri lanka you see maldives you see other countries ha huh? they are performing better than india in south asia also okay so you can just read about this Uh, GII values are computed using association sensitive inequality suggested by so you need to remember beta ye ye word important hai who gave this suggested by seth in 2009 seth had given this implying index is based on general mean of uh, general uh, mean of general means of different order theek okay? hai the first aggregation is by geometric mean across dimension these means calculated separately for men and women and then aggregated using harmonic means across gender to jab hum male ya female ka apne aap mein nikalte hain unke index use karke to geometric karte hain aur jab male aur female ka combine karte hain to harmonic mean karte hain theek hai this is important information to dekho yahan pe jab humne male ka index nikala to ye ye aur ye these three things i found out their These three things I find out their GM. इनका geometric mean निकालते हैं. I find their GM. For these two things I find their GM. हाँ. Huh? And then whatever I get for these index together, I find their HM. This is what it is saying. Right? Okay. So. This is what is written here. The first aggregation is by geometric mean, and then aggregated use it Q, uh, using harmonic mean across the uh, across these things, huh? Okay. So this is all about your gender inequality 